Hey guys, Night Prowler here. I just wanted to show you a quick thing about my generator. I have a little two-stroke, uh, 1200 watt generator. Um, right now I got it running to charge the motorcycle battery. Yes, I don't care. There's my license plate. Do your worst. Um, just uh, charging the motorcycle battery because I've been letting the bike sit. It probably needed to be charged. So, <clears throat> but the generator, it's got two outlets. Like I said, it's 1200 watt, peak 1200 watt. So constant's going to be about 850 watts. Um, you got your pull cord basically, your typical normal generator controls. You got a, but the only difference is on this one, it's got a 12 volt outlet that'll allow you to charge your motorcycle batteries, your car batteries, quad, whatever, your little batteries. And um, worn enough juice if you're gonna run this uh, tent camping, you know, I wouldn't try, even maybe an RV, but very small appliances on an RV. Um, obviously nothing exceeding you know 850 uh, watts uh, one gallon gasoline according to the box will get you five to eight hours depending on load and uh, you got your on off switch and your choke control real simple real easy lightweight compact unit you know basically I mean do a comparison that's my engine that's the generator it's a two horsepower so you know not very big it's a little bit noisy I mean it is a little bit noisy it ain't the the quietest thing in the world but it ain't that loud either let me take a few steps back like I say you take a few steps back it's not that bad you know but I had to pull it out because we're planning on doing some winter camping and uh, I wanted to have the generator you know, I needed to bring it out and let it start and run it for a little while. So I figured I needed to charge my battery on the bike anyways. So, for a little inexpensive 100 watt generator, not bad. I'd say it's pretty decent. You know, maybe a little backup to maybe a solar or, a, you know, some kind of like that. Uh... I mean, obviously, I've seen these solar panels that these guys have, and they're running, you know, a couple, couple K. So, you know, 850 watts ain't nothing to them. But, um, like I said, for a little compact unit for $100, it's worth just to put it away and, uh, you know, have it. So, anyways, that's my opinion about it. You know, obviously, I've got other generators that are at my disposal if I really needed some serious kilowatts. I, I could show you guys some generators and you'd be like, now they're not my personal generators, but if the SHT or whatever, you know what I mean, shit hit the fan, I uh, I could put out some serious juice. I uh, probably don't want to do that because they're going to be loud and they're going to take a lot of diesel and, uh, you know, but I've got options. I've got anywhere from this is the smallest to uh, I've got something on this property that will put, I think, about, what is it, 20K out? I don't know, it's huge. It's basically the size of a semi-trailer. Uh, it's so big that I don't even really know how to work it, but we have manuals, so I'm sure I could learn how to work it if I ever had to. But that would be in extreme conditions, like really extreme conditions. I, uh, I'd i probably go as covert and low-key as possible uh, as far as existence-wise. So anyways, I figured I'd show you the little generator and... Uh, <clears throat> Works pretty well. So, catch you guys later. Later.